Welcome to this new Flight Simulator update movie. In this video we're gonna look at some of the announcements which were done during the developer stream early this week. And one of those announcements was the new city update. City update number 7 which will take place in the European cities. That's why it's also named European cities number 2. It will take place in for example Barcelona as you currently can see on the screen. Uh, so that's really I would say really nice right. So besides Barcelona if we move on a bit uh, we can see Madrid which is also being updated in most cases you will see that the photogrammetry content is being updated right so uh, which means I would say really the, the data which comes from Bing you won't see a lot of point of interest although they might add some point of interest maybe but I don't expect it to be honest uh, in addition to that, right, what you will see is that the elevation is also let's say, updated, which means let's say that it's more realistic, right? If you fly over it, and you see, for example, mountains, they are more more elevated compared to how they are uh, currently in Flight Simulator. And also, we've got Nice. Uh, nice also received a large update, right, where it, uh, with that famous, I would say, airport, right, which is part of the uh, landing challenges. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to how that will look like after uh, this pack has been released, which is currently scheduled to be on the 28th of May, so a little bit more than a month from now, or exactly a month from now. Then we've got Monte Carlo. Monte Carlo also, if you fly over it currently, it doesn't look that nice. But if you see this, there's, I would say, a lot of improvements. I would really love the city to have some more point of interest, for example. Uh, but it looks really cool. And of course, also, Porto has been updated. And Porto, right, you can see the soccer stadium, including some bridges over here. Uh, that's what you... What might appear, right? I don't say that it will appear, but if they are focusing on point of interest, you will see them most likely to be, I would say, bridges, uh, churches, uh, I would say, soccer stadia, and th those kind, those type of buildings. But in this case, uh, I don't expect something. Also, Porto, and then the last one, we will jump to the north east part of Europe, which is uh, Stockholm, right? also received some updates so pretty pretty nice then the next surprise is this one and that's the how they call it the local legend number 16 the short sc7 skyvan also known as the flying shoebox and that will be released also on the 28th of may and is being developed by any builds uh, besides this picture, there are some pic other pictures like from other liveries, uh, including the interior of the uh, aircraft known as the cockpit, uh, where you can see several instruments already there, right? So it looks, looks pretty nice. Uh, these, are, these are still pictures which are work in progress. So also looking forward for this nice uh, local legend. So if we compare everything and add everything to the roadmap, then the roadmap will also change a bit. So first of all, we've got that city update number seven on the top row, uh, which will be European cities number uh, two, or no, yeah, European cities number two, city update number seven. Then in July, we will get world update number 17 already. Um, not announced yet what, uh, will, what will be included, but I'm saying I'm looking forward to it. Maybe we're jumping to another region of the world again. Then in June, we will get an additional uh, local legend, the local legend number 17 also. And in July, it will be already the local legend number 18. Famous flyers will be will they also be released? Yes, there will be a new famous flyer, and uh, that's number four or no, sorry, number nine in June, as well as number ten in July. And then if we scroll to the bottom right, we can see some nice things, including some surprises. So first of all, in May there will be a sim update number fifteen. That's currently in beta, right? So if you're a beta participant. You already know what's being added. A lot of improvements, a lot of performance improvements, but also the long-awaited A320 V2 created by Inibuilds. In June and July, they've got surprises. And the question is, okay, what are those surprises, right? Because if you look at the uh, list on the uh, left side, you can also see that Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 has been added. Will it be that they announced something around that? That's the question. 
I don't know. Uh, let's see what will happen. I don't expect it to be honest. I expect to be later this year. Uh, but maybe Asobo and Microsoft will surprise us. And here ends this video where we looked at the roadmap, including some of the screenshots of city update number 7, which will take place in the European cities, as well as the new local legend. Uh, they will be available within a month from now, so a little bit more waiting and then you can enjoy them. Uh, the first one, the first big one which will be released is uh, sim update number 15, because that one will be uh, released soonish, and soonish. Uh, is let's have a look because they they mentioned it but then they would say diverted again so ah, it's not really clear they they didn't mention it oh here it is the launch date uh was initially the april the 13th right that was the uh was the initial uh release date but it looks like that they're gonna release it a little bit later and there was no clear deadline for that one um keep in mind right that this will also be the last sim update for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 prior to the launch of Flight Simulator 2024. Uh, they say it's okay and then they say okay but not the final sim update for Microsoft Flight Simulator ever, right? Sim update number 16 is planned for early 2025 and that also is would say something which they shared during the developer stream. So here ends this video. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. If you got questions or comments, then feel free to post them in the comment box below. And if you have, and if you want to stay up to date about new videos I'm posting, then make sure that you're subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.